The drought that affected much of Taiwan last month led the Water Resources Agency to actively promote a water reclamation plan in Taichung, Tainan and Kaohsiung. Six different demonstration sites will show how wastewater can be treated and used for industrial purposes. Our Sunday in-depth report. In 2014, Taiwan's total rainfall was just two-thirds that of the annual average. Climate change has potentially made swings between years of ample rainfall and rainfall shortages more severe. Taiwan's geology makes it very difficult to save rain when it does fall. Climate change potentially brings more extreme rainfall conditions, which in addition to conservation efforts may potentially be a new source of water. Taipei's Parks Department has established water collection vessels which can store rainfall during periods of heavy rain that can be used later to water the flowers or wash the road. Penghu's Wukan desalination plant is the first of its kind in Taiwan. It was established in 1995 and in 2007 was transferred into private hands via a BOT arrangement. Each day, it processes 13,000 tons of salt water, providing half of the water supply for some 56,000 residents of Ma Gong. About 10 meters below us is a one meter wide pipe, which extends out into the deep ocean to a location indicated by this red buoy. Water is brought in and stored in wells in the back of this plant. The Water Resources Agency is also promoting a proposal to treat wastewater for reuse. Aside from traditional water sources, we're looking to develop diversified water sources. Water reclamation is one of our goals, as we can no longer simply depend on fresh water. In Sanxia District, near National Taipei University, these colorful, oversized candy canes are actually water pipes discharging wastewater that has been processed for reuse. This wastewater treatment plant collects water used for bathing, washing clothes, and other uses by residents in the area. After being processed, it is made available for public use. Japan divides water into three different categories. Upper water is fresh drinking water, and lower water has already been used and collected by sewer systems. We're collecting this waste water and processing it into usable water, which is called midwater. But here in Taiwan, we're calling it reclaimed water. Water that enters this canal passes through this fine screen machine, which takes out large particles such as dirt, toilet paper, and other things. Later, it passes through two other channels that have finer filters. According to data from the Reclaimed Water Center, the area around National Taipei University collects 7,000 tons of wastewater each day and produces 800 tons of reclaimed water, which can be used for flushing toilets, cleaning cars, and watering plants. Because reclaimed water comes from different types of sources, such as city sewers and industrial wastewater, it may have a different chemical or heavy metal composition. For this reason, we go through different layers of processing. It's actually impossible to remove all of these heavy metals. Taiwan's use of reclaimed water has yet to become widespread. This is because tap water is conveniently available at most faucets, while reclaimed water is only dispensed at special locations. Transport can be inconvenient. Another reason for low usage of reclaimed water is the simple fact that wastewater from households doesn't typically go into sewers for wastewater treatment. Instead, it goes directly into rivers. Wastewater entering sewer systems has yet to become widespread. A look at this year's data shows just 28% of wastewater entering sewer systems. With such low levels, there's little chance of increased usage of reclaimed water. While many countries around the world are promoting reclaimed water, most usage doesn't come into direct contact with humans. Only a few countries, such as Singapore, allow reclaimed water to be used as tap water for human consumption. Take Singapore, for example. Their reclaimed water is used for industrial purposes, such as semiconductor manufacturing, or even to supplement reservoirs where they mix fresh water with reclaimed water. In Taiwan, our main objective is to use reclaimed water for industrial uses. 
If we can develop reclaimed water to become an important source of water, we wouldn't have to use fresh tap water to supply factories. We could simply provide them with reclaimed water. Regular tap water could be reserved for households. While reclaimed water could be a mid to long term solution to solving droughts, some believe the solution ultimately lies in water pricing. If you don't count the cost of these pipes to deliver the water, and if we take Kaohsiung's Fengshan Wastewater Treatment Center as an example, one cubic meter of water would cost 18.8 NT dollars. For this reason, in economic terms, the total usage amount of reclaimed water still won't become commonplace. At the moment, the cost of one cubic meter of tap water is still between 8 to 10 NT, making the government's desire to promote reclaimed water, in terms of pricing, still a long ways off in the future.